the Shure SM58, a complete legend on stage because of its tailored voice response. We're talking 50 to uh, 15K, its cardioid pickup pattern there, which should reject noise behind uh, and from the sides and focus it on whatever is coming directly into the microphone and also its low handling noise. Now, this is a dynamic microphone. Now, this exact model I've had for several years, so it does show some wear, but I'm talking, I've had this mic here for probably 10 years and it still looks, it still looks great. So these are very rugged mics. And like I said, they're just legends for at least on stage, but how do they sound for something like a podcast or for uh, your vocals or your voice for a voiceover for a YouTube video or something like that? Well, that's what we're going to test uh, in this video here. Now, whenever you buy this microphone, it usually comes in a soft case with a, just a basic clip and of course an adapter for uh, you know, for the different size stands. This is an XLR microphone and it does not require phantom power because it is indeed a dynamic microphone. So let's head over to Pro Tools and check out some samples. Here we are in Pro Tools and we have one, two, three, four, five different samples. We have raw samples up top and process samples on the bottom. These are the same exact samples from different uh, distances. The process samples are processed with Isotope Nectar 2 because it has an EQ compressor, limiter, gate, de things like that. And the raw samples have been raised in volume, as you can see on these clips here. And that's because it doesn't make much sense for you to hear them at the level they're really recorded at because it would be so quiet. It would just be disturbing to go from a quiet clip to a much louder process clip like this. SM58 from around one foot away. Be sure SM. Because you would have to keep you know, adjusting your volume. So I have adjusted the volume of the raw clips higher. They are not volume matched. They are just raised for ease of listening. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and listen to samples here of our Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. The Shure SM58 dynamic microphone from around one foot away. One foot is obviously much farther than you would normally be from a dynamic microphone like this, but nonetheless, here is the Shure SM58 from around one foot away. The Shure SM58 dynamic microphone from around one foot away. One foot is obviously much farther than you would normally be from a dynamic microphone like this, but nonetheless, here is the Shure SM58 from around one foot away. The Shure SM58, this time from around six inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this something that you would want for your podcast or for your uh, YouTube video? A dynamic microphone like the Shure SM58. Again, six inches away. The Shure SM58, this time from around six inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this something that you would want for your podcast or for your uh, YouTube video, a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM58. Again, six inches away. The Shure SM58 dynamic microphone, fairly close to the capsule, around two inches away, but this time handheld. Are we hearing any hand noise? Well, let's move it around in our hand. And you get a bit of noise, not a whole lot, does very well in the hand and if i hold it still in my hand it does it does it very well again the shore sm58 hand held the shore sm58 dynamic microphone fairly close to the capsule around two inches away but this time hand held are we hearing any hand noise well let's move it around in our hand and you get a bit of noise not a whole lot does very well in the hand and if i hold it still in my hand it does it does it very well Again, the Shure SM58, hand held. The Shure SM58, around three inches from this microphone, but this time with an air conditioner on in the background to get an idea of uh, how much environment noise will you pick up if you are using the Shure SM58 for your podcast or for your uh, YouTube video. Also, I can type on a keyboard just to get an idea again of the uh, pickup in the background of the Shure SM58. The Shure SM58, around three inches from this microphone, but this time with 
an air conditioner on in the background to get an idea of uh, how much environment noise will you pick up if you are using the Shure SM58 for your podcast or for your uh, YouTube video. Also, I can type on a keyboard just to get an idea again of the uh, pickup in the background of the Shure SM58. The Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. This time we are around two inches away, which is the average distance you would be from a microphone such as the Shure SM58. And you can come in even closer if you want and take advantage of that proximity effect. Now we are literally right up on the grill of the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. I'll back up to around two inches away again of the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. The Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. This time we are around two inches away, which is the average distance you would be from a microphone such as the Shure SM58. And you can come in even closer if you want and take advantage of that proximity effect. Now we are literally right up on the grill of the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. I'll back up to around two inches away again of the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. And there we are. That is the Shure SM58 from a bunch of different distances and even with air conditioners on or handheld raw and processed samples there for the Shure SM58. Hopefully you can get an idea if this is the style of microphone you want to use for your podcast, for your YouTube videos, voiceovers. But there it is, man. The Shure SM58 Dynamic Microphone.